fight. We'll see here, everybody, as match number six, the final match of day number one here of the PMGC Global Finals. Taking it to Aragale. And as I look here at my screen, we can see a day, one day to another. It is absolutely vital. When you look at teams around them, they do have plenty of space, like you mentioned. But the current leaders of the pack, Class Digital Athletics, are down to the southeast of them. Phase one has popped up. And it's a bit of a tricky phase one compared to the playing path. Because all Talk to him, and of all the members, I ain't gonna lie, he was the most serious of the whole group. I mean, he was just kind of <laughs> like, really like, yo, this is my answer, and that's it. And guess what? I mean, he's playing seriously, but oh goodness, Konina Power. It, what, is it, I get a little bit deja of deja vu? vu here? Yeah, I mean, what is going on? They're getting caught out just uh, unfortunately not having that. Oh, and he gets run over by the buggy. Frozen, punished once again. Hello Darkness, my old friend, but just as we see one player being taken out, Joker, along with the rest of the North Yasnaya or come in in between school and Yasnaya. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame them if they want to err on the side of caution right okay. now. Just play it really, really carefully. We can see right now, if they're going to go ahead and play it slower, we'll have to see how they opt to do it, though. One thing I'm looking at, by the way, if you guys look at the bottom left of your screen, we were talking about it earlier, Navi. I mean, it looks like they opted to go with that Jeez. real long rotation to Yasnaya, so we know what their decision was. You are just zooming on by, and they're just trying to find their next location right now. We'll see where they opt to go to, but uh, oh, looks like they're going to run right into A1. And A1 is going to settle that really quickly and take out those two members on the bike. Like the move, just trying to find their final position here. But it looks like Nova ended up finding Alpha 7 as Mafioso's down swagging. Switching to FPP is going to get caught on that off angle there. Nova, always so good when they're playing separate, just utilizing each other, covering each other's angles. I mean, when they are set up like this, they're still so deadly. And that's where the 2-2 split from uh, Alpha was always going to be tricky in that area, like I mentioned, because if team gets if a team gets too close to you, there's a much higher chance they're going to get punished. Credit to, to Nova as well, because they really pushed heavily on that area and gave no time for the players that did go down. Starts hitting zone four, zone five. That's when the action really starts to happen. And as you can see here, nice central shift in zone. So it is dead center and 4 a.m. Navi sitting pretty. Yeah, but Navi right now are 2-2, two, two, and I would recommend that they look to join up as a 3-1 because you're going to have teams breaching in that area, and I find it very hard to believe that they'll hold Actually, at getting all those vehicles, you know, being able to set up cover pretty much anywhere. And Bigatron, I mean, they have a lot on the line right now. they got to play this real carefully. That was a nice knock there from Airwolf. That was real nice knock from Airwolf on the Kanina power on the eastern side of this circle. Oh, look at that pressure come out. Dante, the main fragger from A1, laying it down right now onto AR. They're getting just pinched from so many teams. I think it's just Spav. Yep, left for the team. He's going to have to try and get around the area, so we'll have to see how that does pan out. Joker is knocked down. Leon is on the backside, but that sniper tower is helping Nova stopping of getting third party by Dish Athletics for they're, now. They're holding it down. They're holding it down right there. Ooh. Vehicle explosion from Ray Z from Class Digital Athletics. That's going to pop on an order, and they're pushing this. Oh, my and they're Lord. coming hard. Oh, not able to get those shots on the Jimmy. He is spotting nice. it, though. I mean, that's the thing is that you got so many angles when you're on the outside. If you're Jimmy, you can only peek those two windows. Ray Z realizes that, and he's got his eyes locked on that location. Thing is, do they know that Leon is there? That is the question. Two players of class are actually wrapping around to flank on the underside. Leon is going to be spotted out. That's a nice push. Great play by Class Dish Athletics. Beautiful execution right there. They're going to go ahead and get those really nice off angles. They're pushing together as a duo right now and just surrounding this entire area. And then here comes Ray Z. Oh, oh. what a shot right there. Shutting down Jimmy. And there goes Nova. XQF in 15. That is the current leaders of the PMGC finals, and it speaks for itself. Selim all the way was actually in the circle, not doing anything, holding onto a core position. So that was a three-man push 
from class. And that was against Nova XQF. I mean, one of the most popular teams in PUBG Mobile. I mean, these guys are doing it with some swagger, with style here in the PMGC. Love to see that from this team. We'll see how they end up doing as the rest of the match ensues here. Ponita Power, they're holding down the Wizard Tower. You got Super Jin oh holding Lord. down those buildings. Zeus just full sending it, trying to do anything they can. It's the last match. They want to survive, but they are just having this full send it, and they are getting beat up by all these teams gatekeeping them. Desperate times call for desperate measures. You go for the desperate rotations, but when you're going in blind, you're going to get punished. And in the end, I believe it's just Godless that's left standing. But he's taking a bit of a fight against RQ. Got one knock. He's not going to find the other. It is Bear 11 cleaning things up. I mean, if you make a rotation like that, you're going to have to make some player sacrifices. Yeah. And just right there, they sacrificed their whole team. But Ryzen was waiting there with that 8x SKS. It's going to get the finish. And there goes RRQ out in 12th. And BTR still up as a full squad, although Microboy has been knocked down. Most of these not, not going to get revived up, but their next battle is Alpha 7. And Alpha 7 doing exactly what they're supposed to. It was able to shut down one of their members right there, so that's going to really help them out in this fight. And now they're starting to put the pressure onto Zuxi. He's outside, going to jump in the window. Oh, getting okay, nice pre-fire there from Santa Texas. Switching to the DP, and he's going to catch him slipping. Last remaining member, here he comes. Santa Texa, oh, in the, uh, and that's it, done. So Bigatron taken out as well. But why was he going in late? He actually should have gone past Alpha 7 because he wasn't going to be able to do anything. But it is what it is. It does what it does. And Alpha A1 are going up against Navi. Yeah, we'll see right now how they're going to opt to play it right now. Navi is starting to throw them smokes, trying to go ahead and hold on. They do have this edge of the circle. So they want to hold this position, buying some time right now. Anything they could possibly do to get these resets. You can see there, Maddox throwing, I believe, a nade on a Sinister. It's going to be a little bit short. That vehicle is blown up. So he doesn't have to worry about that. That is their IGL. You know, he's giving those calls out to his main fragger. He's knocked and finished, so now it's all up to Dante, the Thumbs player from A1, to hold on for his squad. You got third partying from Alpha 7. You could even have third partying from Team Secret Jin. And all the while, in the center of the circle is the last player of Power Triple A Corp I with class still up as a full squad on the West. You know, all eyes are on him. Oh, Celine, please. Oh, card 98, 8x at the end. Oh, that's a dream, baby. Get those. You're going to try to, but nope, switches to the M4. Going to try to figure it out. He's trying to blow up that up. vehicle. Yeah, it doesn't want it to, to injure him just in case. So he's going to get that right there. He does have Razy and Silas up on top, but this is a really steep slope right now. Mm. It's really hard to peek from the top of that mountain. You're going to give away your position. I mean, look at that dossier on the top left. It is getting blown up, shredded right now as four angry men. They're pissed, and they're trying to get into this circle. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's easier as it is for four angry men to play up that hill compared to class. Class are in the circle. 4 a.m. are not there for checkmate. To class. That's true. That's true. I mean, Class Digital Athletics got to give them the edge, I think, in this position, especially with the zone shifting on over to their side as well. You can see Senna Dexa there with that DP. A lot of these players, I mean, they love that DP here at the end, just lasering, trying to put more pressure onto these squads. Here comes Navi. Oh, man, and they are just getting laser beam from the top of the hill. Man, what else can you do? They're just going to try and go for the push. If old boy can get the heel off, get back into Dacier, he could make something work. But Cor Corpi, as I said, last player of Power Trip Late are stopping them dead in their tracks. And he realizes, hey, I got the zone. We can get some really good points right here. And this is the last remaining member. So he's putting himself at risk, but he has got a really good position. He realizes it. So he's going aggressive. Can't say I blame him. We'll see how it plays off. But this is the big battle, the big battle between Class Digital Athletics and Four Angry man the two top teams right here can they get it finished as four angry man smokes out all over the place i mean look at this it is just a battle of the grenades trying to open this up get a little breathing room for their team how have class allowed four angry men to not only get into the circle but get to a point where they can actually take the engagement on to class i'll tell you why it's because it's four angry men. That's why. I mean, when it comes Boom. to them, they are so good at being able to press in these True. situations. I mean, they live on the edge of the circle, pushing into yeah. these kind of spots. So, uh, you know, right now, still full laid down and just trying to sneak in. I think what helped four angry men is that there's less teams on the eastern side True. of the circle.
That's going to give him a lot of breathing room. And now look at this. Oh, boy. We saw him do some magic early on. Can he get this repeat? He has to be in this 1v1. He's going to throw a nade. Oh, a little too far. Is he going to get the spot? Scorpi laid down. Oh, the Uzi just too strong. Oh, boy. This guy's got ice water in his veins. Always able to hit those clutch shots. And now he's got this whole side to himself. But look at Alpha 7. They stay quiet. And they could come in as class of four anger men start the fight. Oh, and look at this. I mean, oh, boy. As well, I mean, this is just an insane battle to finish things off here. Sid Hay's gonna get those two points right there, and there's Old Boy spotting him. Get some nice pieces. Oh, it's one HP. Can he get the final one? But is made it out, and that is gonna be Navi eliminated in fourth. Huge clutch shots from Four Anchor Man, and still whole squad alive. Four Anchor Man started the day with the chicken dinner. Are they going to end the day with the chicken dinner, or can Alpha Seven? claim the top spot. We'll see. I mean, they got the whole squad. All four angry men are up right now. But guess what? Alpha 7, they got Papa Blue to their side. And that is going to be huge right now. We'll see how they utilize it. Because four angry men have to run on the open. But they got to take out Silas first. And that is going to be it. That's going to be a huge break for them. So now, last two teams remaining here in the final day of the PMGC finals. I know it's a... 2v4, but honestly, this is Alpha 7's game because they have the low ground, they have the circle. In my eyes, this is theirs to lose. Well, guess what? I mean, it is Alpha 7's game, but it is also four angry men's game because we just saw them push from True. outside a circle. They're so good at doing this, and you can just see them creeping up little by little. I love these offensive smokes. That is going to block their sight lines, and they're hitting already some insane shots. Alpha 7 is feeling the pressure. And I love the fact that four angry men, when they throw the smokes, they're not staying quiet. They're actually using those smokes to then peek to the side and get those shots off to suppress Alpha 7. I guarantee you one bad smoke from four angry men on themselves could almost kill that entire team But that's such good discipline. They're working so well together Alpha 7's throwing all the utility they have to kind of stop the pressure right now But look at these guys. I mean four angry men just creeping up so slowly on them Oh, Saki with the Groza. Oh, and he gets them. Look at that. The Groza showing up here in the end game. They see they realize there's only one player left, and that is going to be it. Hasaki finishing it strong. Four angry men win the first chicken dinner, and now they get the last one. They bookmark day one of the Pussy Mobile Global Championship Finals. The Chinese team ending the day on top. Will it see them end the actual overall standings on top?